what's up boys and girls it's johnny welcome back to the show hey hey i feel like i'm brighter than normal but we'll just go with it what's going on welcome welcome to the show i'm your host gone with john guys we got a fun little game planned for today we're going to take a look at something that i think we should really look at this more often boys because you wouldn't believe it this lady has been alienated this mom has been alienated from the children and the the kids and the husband and all this stuff man can you believe that guys can you imagine what it must be like to be alienated from um well i'm sure some of you out there can imagine what it's like that's a little better that's not quite as bright sorry Let's dive into today's video, guys. Make sure you check this out. I don't know who to tell you that this is, and I don't want to blow up their channel or anything with uh, <clears throat> any negativity because I feel like this might be a sensitive subject for the, the lady. But um, yeah, let's dive in and take a listen. Apparently, and I haven't watched this yet. I just know from the title what I was trying to download. So, Hello, everyone. Hi. Why not do this inside? So... Oh, she's talking all low. Let's see what we can do here, guys. Let me see if we got some volume. I'm doing much better oh. than I was yesterday. I'm grateful that um, my glass is back on because it's windy. Um, I'm grateful to my boss who allowed me to take that time yesterday that I needed to Strong and independent. Don't need no man. Don't need no husband telling him what to do at the house. My boss let me take today off. To uh, take care of my mental health, my well-being. Right. Of course. What what would a video on social media be without mentioning mental health? Uh, I just had this overwhelming feeling like... I think it was... Ang I mean, just everything. Anxiety. Feelings? Go on. Um, it was pretty bad. Right. I agree. But um, one thing I wanted to kind of connect with you about are a lot of the coping skills and uh, mechanisms and tools. Wouldn't it be easier to just kind of face reality head on rather than just coping with everything? Wouldn't it just be easier to be real honest with yourself and be like, with some introspection, be like, hey, I made these terrible mistakes. I'm going to do some other different shit now. But go on if you need to continue to draw out that pain and suffering for as long as possible while trying to get attention for it on the internet. By all means, go ahead. That I, that I have and that how I've learned to... Ah, yes. You sound like you should be teaching people what you're learning because, you know, coping. To not stay in that place that I was in yesterday. To oh. self-soothe and heal. Right. I've done a little self-soothing myself in the past. You know what I mean, guys? And, uh, you know, it's definitely not, not easy. But um, yesterday, I took the time. I went to the... Uh, actually, I, I bought a journal. We're a minute into her video so far, guys. Any idea what we're talking about yet? I went to the beach. I wrote in my journal... Well, at least you're doing the work, kid, right? <clears throat> I drew a little picture for Hannah. I cried. Uh, yeah. I didn't really talk to anybody aside from, you know, some people I would encounter when I was there, but I... Okay. Uh, let's just really quickly, guys. Hi, I'm Gone With John. Let's start with Senate Structure 101. I didn't really talk to anyone. While I was there, except people that I was there. I talked to them. I didn't talk to anyone except for a few people. Let's go. Let's just, we're going to run it back for you guys. I want you all to really be able to appreciate the Senate structure here. This is good. Uh, I didn't really talk to anybody aside from, you know, some people I would encounter when I was there, but I... I did my best to stay off of social media and even, you know, messaging my... You did your best. Did you... So you did stay off or you weren't able to stay off during the time while you were there, not talking to anyone other than the people you talked to? Huh? I'm just curious. Were you, you tried your best. Were you successful at not picking up your phone? This is This is the crazy part, guys. You have to be like, yeah, so... You did or you didn't do the thing? And they're always, 
They're never telling you about what they did. They're like, I almost did this thing one time. Parents to tell them I, I, I was really just trying to make it through on my own. And uh, it seemed to work. But um, something, a turning point for me that happened when I was going through the hardest parts of mediation, when I could tell. Oh, mediation, someone had a court date. That things were not going to be going in a, a positive direction. Oh, her way. What she means is I noticed things in the court date aren't going to be going my way. It took us two minutes to get to that. Direction for the benefit of Hannah. Oh, of course. Only the mother could know what's best for the child. She's saying, it, well, things weren't going good for the benefit of Hannah. Well, how come the husband can't decide what's in the best benefit of the children? What about the courts? You know how fucked up it has to be for the courts to decide it's better for the Hannah to do the other thing? Huh? For, that, for it to get to that point? That's the interesting part about this. Well, how come, let me ask you this. Elon Musk is going through this right now, guys. Now, obviously, he has plenty of money. He could do whatever. And you would think, well, how is it possible Elon Musk is having a custody battle for one of his kids? If he wants that kid, he should buy. He should have that kid. There shouldn't even be a custody battle about that. Even the court should be like, okay, he's like one of the top five richest guys on the planet. So he could definitely provide for this child better. He could hire 100,000 nannies. He could... This child is in much better growth place with Elon Musk. Why are we even debating this? Uh, when I could tell that my ex-husband and his attorney um, had done a really good job at conveying and convincing oh. the mediator. Oh, yeah, those people fooled everybody. Um that it would be better for Hannah to not have me around. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Imagine the proof that's needed to not have a woman around the child. A daughter at that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's funny. Is that good? Is that funny? This is funny. It was that particular day and... Let's find out. Maybe she's breaking down, guys. She's trying not to cry, I'm guessing. That it would be better for Hannah to not have me around. <laughs> um, it was that particular day in May of 2013. No one cares. The date's irrelevant. That there was that moment of devastation and breakdown, and and um, kind of realized I needed to start taking care of myself. <laughs> what What are we talking about? Because the only thing that I can really control is myself and right. my actions and my right. health. Your health? Sounds like there's an addiction problem. I'm not judging. I'm just guessing. And allegedly. I don't know. I don't know. My, you know, my... You seem a little erratic. I don't... Talking to you has been very difficult. I mean, listening to you talk has been difficult. Well-being in my life. Right. You. And for too long I was, you know, living under, under the fear and threat that my ex-husband always had over me that he was going to try to take my daughter from me. <laughs> Ma'am, as a man on this planet, I would just like to speak for all men for a brief moment. We can't imagine what it must have been like living under the fear and threat that your child was going to be taken away from you by the spouse that you've slept next to, loved and trusted. I can't even fathom what that must be like for you. It seems unbearable. Um, right. So what I did was I changed at that point. I was about 60 pounds overweight. You don't say, uh, sorry, sorry. Um, so thanks to a good friend of mine, Kevin and Danielle, good friends of mine who introduced me to paleo and then drop those buzzwords. Let's hear it. Connecting with. Oh, connecting with, come on, get back on mental health. My mom, my mom kind of got on board immediately with paleo with, she thought it would help some of the health issues she was having. And, um, <clears throat> so she jumped on the paleo bad, paleo.
Man, what are you talking about paleo? Get back to the mediation and the children. And the, the title of your video is Alienated Mom Shares How She Has Survived, which, congratulations, uh, being erased from the family or whatever. So now we're talking about fucking bacon fat. Bandwagon, followed by my father. And within a week, I started uh, removing the processed foods and carbs and sugars and me 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 guys have i told you about me lately L listen here shh, 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 shh. i'm gonna tell you about losing the kids and the family and all that stuff but i'm on this paleo kick right now and uh you know father-in-law's on board mother-in-law's on board listen i'm gonna we're gonna talk about the subject matter of my video but let me tell you about me a little bit me 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 and dairies from my diet yeah your diet you um i was also going to yoga yeah sounds like hannah's gonna be uh you know you you need to focus on you yoga was instrumental yeah yoga's great namaste um as well um having an amazing support system that i have with my family i'm very fortunate and what family? Your husband's left, leaving or left, or you left him, and now he's got custody of the daughter, and you're talking about paleo. Huh? What support? Blessed with that. And my friends. Yeah, your friends, ladies. I gotta be honest with you. The best thing you could do is lose all your friends immediately. Every one of them. All of them. Your female friends, for sure. Best thing you could do. Because you don't need the... Uh, Women shame each other into bad behaviors and they shame each other into doing other things or making people feel guilty or they shame people and say, well, I agree, but if you don't do this and if you're married, you're lame -o. and uh, Women, the best thing that you as a woman can do is get all other women that aren't your mom or an auntie out of your life immediately. And even th those two are on thin ass ice, by the way. That's the best thing you women can do is think for yourself. Stop listening to the media. Stop listening to the, all the everybody else says this and that. And the, mm -mm. That is killing you as females, as an actual person. Why don't you just disconnect from all that shit and just see who you are after six months? Turn off Facebook, Instagram, all this other shit and just exist in the world for six months and see if that shit don't change your outlook a little bit. Nope. Too hard. Never mind. Um, and then I also amped up my... my me did i tell you about me exercise routine I yeah you're super hot I started going to personal training oh. um, so thanks to giselle and dave when you talk about the part how your family didn't your family just get disintegrated like are, you don't worried about that that's not on your mind that'd be that's all i thought about guys during my divorce literally the the most recent one for sure like a it's three and a half years. Three years is all I thought about every day. Every day, miss my kids, miss everything. Miss, I was lied. I wish this. I thought that. I was told, and I miss my kids for like three and a half years. And this lady's at the mediation of the court, and she's like, "I'm in paleo." And uh, shout out to Synergy Personal Fitness and Elk Grove. Yeah, so, yeah. Get a plug in. I mean, shit. Anybody uh, in Sacramento? Unbelievable. Good place to work out unbelievable you should check them out um guys they don't care they don't care you th this is what every man thinks is that she cares she loves me we have this dream family dream life we got the dream house we got this oh man i'm doing it all right she don't even care it don't matter she's outside of court talking about this bullshit she don't care her daughter just got taken away from her her words not mine and she's like yes yeah, shout out to synergy health and fit what the fuck Anyway, because of that, I also then trained for uh, Tough Mudder. Thank Alienated mom shares how she survived being erased from... Oh, I guess she's telling you these are the things that she did to survive all the... And she's outside the courthouse. That's her word she said. Out some mediation. Go ahead. Thanks to Eric Contreras for asking me to join. So I did Tough Mudder in September of 2013, and uh, that was a, a very empowering... Maybe she's at her house, but still. ...empowering moment. Um, very empowering. You know, training for something, facing your fears. Oh, masculinity. 
Of course. So you went through something tragic. This is why we tell women body count matters. You went through something tragic. Apparently you lost your daughter and you decided at that point to just become a man. Tough mutter. Nothing feminine about you anymore? And, you know, coming away feeling kind of invincible. I oh, like a man, baby. Yeah. You go, girl. Strong, tough, don't need no man. Just want to be one. This, boy, Ladies, I can't figure this shit out. If you're strong, independent, don't need no man, why are you trying your best to be masculine? I'll wait. I feel with this alienation, um, being separated from Hannah from... Yeah, Hannah, you seem really broken up. You know, the beautiful, beautiful person and beautiful soul and spirit that Hannah is. Ooh, panda bears, panda into you. Hey, you guys are the best. Love you. You guys are great. Thanks for listening to me talk about me for five minutes and seven seconds of her video. And I drug it out some myself. But thanks for listening, guys. Shout out to you for letting me talk about me. Let me tell you about my daughter. And I've been alienated. I can't imagine as a man what that's like. Can you guys, any of you guys in your wildest dreams, imagine? She's um, she's a light in this world. And so to yeah, be... Yeah, a light in this world indeed. Separated from her. And to survive it. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. Tough. You're doing great. Um, I kind of feel like I, I have nothing to fear. I have nothing to lose. I've right. I've already lost like the most important person in my life. Hmm. You don't say. My life. But not, not permanently, I hope. Right. Yep. We've hoped that before. Don't worry, they grow up. You get to see them when they're 18 and they have their own life and don't give a shit about you anymore. I mean, they care about you, but they ain't, they ain't checking from dad once a year, twice a year, if that. And it's not a bad thing, but they got their own life to live. You missed out on the part that you were supposed to get with them, but it's fine. Go ahead, lady. You seem really unhappy. Anyway, um, so, Tough Mudder. <laughs> Well, at least you touched on the subject matter of this very long video. At least you talked briefly about it. Friends, exercise, diet, yoga, um, reconnecting to source. Um, this is all the stuff we tell you men to do after a breakup? Um, Not reconnecting to source. That sounds like some bullshit psycho the rapist. I mean therapist talk. Also participating in... Uh, I'm fortunate enough that I, I got involved in Aztec dance thanks to... I'm fortunate enough that I got involved in Aztec dance. In case any of you at home missed it, that was what she said. To Angelica and Maestro, um, and uh, also to Raz, who invited me. You know. Yeah, to Ra and Isis and all the gods of the sun and the earth. You know, I went to Sweat Lodge. Ah, Sweat Lodge. Yeah, did you take any of that kielbasa up the old tailpipe? Um, so a lot of my healing has... has... My healing... This lady has a therapist. Guys, if you got a therapist, uh, it's probably time to not have a therapist. These people don't have your best interest in mind. They need you sick. You you were diagnosed because you went in there with, you know, and we're like, hey, is something wrong with me? And they were like, y your check's cash? And then the check went through and they were like, no, yeah, you come back and see us. Let's talk for a while. Yeah, it's like a salesperson. Not that they're salespeople. They're truly professionals. But I mean... Um, you know, if you spend enough time talking to a salesperson, they have a greater probability of closing the deal. Kind of come about in that way. Um, and also through Facebook, you know, connecting with all these, all the alienated people that I have, all the amazing advocates like Wendy Archer, now Wendy Perry. Um, oh, did she get a divorce? Huh? Wendy Archer, do you, oh, Wendy Perry, you mean, now? Now Wendy Perry. Amazing. She was also alienated, guys. You wouldn't believe it. Her husband was abusive. Joe Barrow, Jaco, um, having gone to the ISNAF meeting. Yeah, Chad, Tyrone. Yeah, all those guys. And meeting uh, Linda Gottlieb in person. And, oh. Um, 
love when people name drop the names of people that no one knows. You know what I'm saying? Like are these, the, maybe these are people and it's probably people that do all those courses because women, we did a video on this the other day called Godlike Manipulation. It's a fantastic video I did. If you haven't seen it, it's really great. And um, trust me on that one. But this, this right here, they just, they do all these health courses and coachings and trying to find their healing partner and journey. And all it is is more therapists or pseudo therapists selling them the idea that, yeah, if you just do the work and take the steps and just keep coming on back, bring that wallet in here. Hey, here's a workbook for you. Here's a thing. Here's a thing. Here's a DVD. Here's a watch this. Check out this person. And then they think they're healed and they walk around telling everybody about the people that sold them courses. Yeah, I followed the steps of uh, so-and-so's ultimate goal to happiness. If I just knew who I was, it was like $2,000, but I did it and I completed the course and I even got a certificate. It's not here. It's at home on my wall. And going to the parental alienation alienation think tank in, in Texas oh. um, and meeting the amazing... Uh, who? Rod McCall. Oh, yeah, yeah. I go way back with that dude. Who shared his story, which is... He was raped by dogs when he was an infant. It's a terrible story. I don't recommend it. The worst tragic story and outcome that a parent, anybody could ever go oh. through. And he's living and, and he's I was making wrong. his mission to raise awareness. And I would just like to say that whoever she said earlier was not raped by dogs. I don't want to get sued as an infant. Um, so I think for me, that's another element that uh, another layer to me Being strong. Oh, and, uh, God, yes. Thank God. Healing myself. Oof, sing it, sister. Bring it home. Bring it home. Give me two more buzzwords. Is the only option I have is to speak up and is to try to help others. And Oh, God, yes. I'll give you the credit on that one. That's one. Help others for sure. And that's something that I actually want to make a mission um, and part of my life. Right. You seem like you're ready to help teach other people about stuff and life and happiness. Why were you alienated just out of curiosity? I'm just wondering about that part. I understand how you're surviving it, but, you know, I'm going to play devil's advocate with a little introspection question. Why were you alienated from your own daughter's life? is to be here for others and to, and to help help other people who are in the desperate, dark <clears throat> places. To but see, you actually have to do some steps to get to that, guys. When I came out of the divorce, it was a, you know, a while before I did this. I had two divorces under my belt before I started making content trying to help men with this situation. Like, I have 23 years of marriage between two wives, two divorces, five children, all snatched up away from me and taken... I make these videos, I'm giving you guys years of experience. This lady here, well, she just got alienated from her child. You wouldn't believe how tough it's been on her. I mean, she did survive thanks to paleo and all this other stuff. No, there is hope and, and not to give up. Yeah. You know, life is, life can be beautiful. Yes, I agree. Um, you just have to return to the things that... The why the deep breath and sigh if you're so comfortable and confident and ready to teach other people to be comfortable with who they are? Why why the sigh? Bring you joy. You know, start a gratitude journal in the morning. Oh, gratitude journal. Ding, ding, ding. Johnny, tell her what she's won. Ma'am, you've just given us like the ninth bullshit phrase from the therapist. Easily. Easily the ninth from the therapist. All the therapy buzzwords... I'm guessing that this lady's purse contains Xanax. I'm guessing. Maybe a sticky black dildo and some certs. I'm guessing. Morning, write down five things that you're thankful for. At night, write down five things. Or, you know, as many, many as you can think. It was the search that made it funny, wasn't it? It's weird. Think of, but sometimes that can be hard when you're uh -huh. feeling um, hopeless. Right. You know, the, the risk of the risk and the rate of suicide. Around, um Tell me about it, sister. You wouldn't believe men are better at that, too. It's uh, it's getting out of hand. It's really sad. I'm not here trying to save men's lives. Uh, ironically, fighting other men to do so. But 
among alienated parents and I'm sure also among alienated children. Right. Yeah. Um, it's very high. So we need to change the perception. <laughs> yes. Yes. Of, of alienated parents, targeted parents. Um, when you hear a story, I'm asking this to the general public. Yeah. <laughs> you guys believe this shit? You know, when you hear a story, mm -hmm. someone tells you, oh, I'm a single dad or I'm a single mom and the, the parent has abandoned their child. Well, if it's the dude, everyone makes that assumption. If it's the mom, we assume you were a crackhead or something terrible happened that you are responsible for. That's usually what people assume. And it's pretty true in that case. I wouldn't say all the bad dads or anything like that. I wouldn't say the dads that, you know, some dads abandon the mother. And unfortunately, so that the dad doesn't have a heart attack or an aneurysm or a stroke, he has to see the kids later on when he can see them without the frustrating fight of the mother situation. That can happen. And yeah. there are parents who choose to walk away. There are parents that abandon their children. There are parents who are drug addicts and murder. Go on. Murderers. Murderers. That, you know, you can you can say, okay, we can understand why maybe, uh, why it would be detrimental to have you in the life of your child. Right. However, that wasn't me. Right. Hmm. Sounds like it was tragically unfair. The old uh, system. And it's not most of the parents that I know. All of the parents that I know, you know. They're loving. All of the parents that I know, you know. And they want nothing more than to be with their children. And they're fighting for the right. Why do you, why should you have to fight for the right to be in your children's life? <sighs> Unbelievable, huh? It's, it's crazy. The system is set up that the person that gets the most time, so what I mentioned in a video with the Walk for Lost Kids last week, Ah, more name dropping. By my ex-husband getting oh. full custody. Oh. Though the, though he Why was he given full custody again? Let's just broach on that little subject there. Typically, the woman is given the custody. So, <clears throat> why, why did the evil court system decide to give this one man out of a billion custody of the child? He makes four times the amount I make, which... Oh, yeah, well, he can he can provide for the child. You probably started some shit with this man, thought you were going to take him for everything, and then he was like, well, I make a ton of money, and I'll just destroy you in court. You won't even be able to pay for it all. Unless, of course, she got him to pay for it, which a lot of times they do because the court system doesn't give a shit about men. But means that he makes a very decent wage. Uh-oh, well, why are we talking about his money? Are you pocket-watching him? Just say you don't have the kids. But you want to go into it and like he's a bad person for making money. Enough to live on. He oh. didn't need my money, but by taking... Okay, so you had some money of your own. Taking the child by the way the system set up, him getting full custody, I had to pay 25% of my income. 25%? You got off lucky. Which uh, meant it didn't... <laughs> it wasn't enough to survive on. It wasn't enough to live. So that meant I had to move. Oh, oh no. So let me see if I get this right. You lost custody of your child. Your person that you love most in the world, you thought your best friend up until yesterday, probably, or whenever it happened, um, they left you. You lost your kids and you had to pay 25% of your income. It's terrible. Goodness. I moved in, um, thankfully, you know, with to with my parents. Okay, at least that's something. You mean you weren't homeless, that's good. So I'm living, I had to move two hours away back home. I'm living with my parents. Mm-hmm. Yes, men do these things also to survive, but you had to do it this time. Oh. At their place. Hmm. Uh, and that's what I've been doing for nearly two years. I did pay my child support, so my obligation according to the 
the court is and, and to my daughter that way is done um there are other things that i will be doing if that's done that means the daughter was old enough to decide which parent they lived with and the daughter chose the dad if it's been two years and her child support's paid and that means it was the, the kid was over 14 probably at the time of the divorce and the kid was like i don't want to live with this woman that's what that means for my daughter um setting money aside for her for mm -hmm. uh for when she comes back around. When she comes back around. What did I just tell you? You see how she worded that? I told you. I see this shit, man. I know the matrix. You can't lie to me, man. The daughters know if the mom is a no good. And if the mom is... The daughters know if the mom's a manipulator. If the mom's playing games. The daughters know. The daughter was old enough. The daughter said, no, I'd rather live with my dad. This woman's batshit insane. Couple years went by. Now she's all caught up on child support. Kids 18. Makes sense to me. But she's going to try to buy the daughter's love back when the daughter's older. Oh, look, I saved up some money for you. So what if I destroyed your childhood and made it terrible on you? Look, I got some cash. But the fact that, uh, again, that there's no, there's really no penalty. Yeah. It's fucked up, huh? For the parents that are keeping the children away. I tell you, it's crazy. Man, what a great video idea. This is uh, this topic has never been broached before, ma'am. Why are they not fined? Right. Or, you know, well, <laughs> I almost... I don't, I don't get it. I don't either. Tanya Harding comes to mind. So something needs to change in the system. But right. anyway enough of the system see that's where it gets heavy for me heavy yeah i hear you go ahead keanu tell us about the uh you know whatever <laughs> um is it uh, it's also about yeah flipping my hair around yeah the system and my kids gone and yeah psh, alienated psh, check me out man i'm beautiful about balance and and work balance play balance and oh work play and life balance and you know, I think that's also partly what depleted me this yesterday was ah. again, I mean, I, and I'm, and I'm glad I don't regret the, the, uh, any of the advocacy or, or, you know, walking with Patrick. That was fantastic. Actually. Who's Patrick? Who cares? What do you do? What? Um, and, and meeting Carlos and, and Ben. All right. Who's Patrick? Who's Carlos? Who's Ben? and who the fuck cares about this? Um, but there's a, an element of balance in how much we can actually. More psychiatrist talk, more fucking crazy ass bullshit made up pseudoscience. I think we could find a creative balance in the matrix to the. Give to others. We have to make sure that we keep ourselves replenished. Oh, I was depleted the other day. Very depleted. Now I've got to be replenished, guys. Yes, buzzwords. But oh, what's the word of the week, guys? Let's say we, uh, uh, I was replenished because I was depleted. Yeah, we'll use that one for a couple weeks and then we'll switch it up. And uh, anyway. So I died and then I was reborn. So that's a little bit of what I wanted to say today. Great. Good. Yeah. Again, yeah. unscripted. I'm still looking at myself and realizing. Well, we figured that much out. I have no makeup on. I have dark circles, but. Yeah. 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 Here we are. We're at the park. Oh, the park. Okay. She's at the park. This is where I work, Scotts Valley. Oh, that's right. Mom and dad are at the house. You don't want to make this video at mom and dad's house and have. Dear, you're always making your videos. Shut up, mom. Trying to make a video about how I'm alienated totally because of the system and other people. This is McDorsa Park, actually right behind me. Yeah, nothing's better on the internet than telling people exactly where you are. Over here, hold on. That is a police station. I think maybe one of these days I'll have to go in and talk to them about what happens when they go to try to enforce a visitation. Right. The police or will love that. The men of the police force have nothing better to do than answer questions to some bimbo. Yeah. They're gonna, they'll love that. What do they do? What happens if... 
It's terrible. The child, the teenager, doesn't want to go. Oh, did someone's child not want to go? I did not see this coming. Whose child wanted to go with the other parent? Which, who? What happens if the child doesn't want to go? Anyway. Right. Um. Yeah. Anyway, indeed, gentlemen. I'd be interested to know if you want to comment on this video. Nope. Um, share it. That'd be awesome. No. Well, I guess I am kind of sharing it, so. You know, the more awareness that we can raise. The yeah. Yeah, we... We thought of that too. Better. Right. But I'd be interested to know what things are you doing? How are you coping? How are you surviving? Well, we're men, so what happens is we get sad and depressed about it, and then one of our friends is like, hey, stupid, stop being sad about that. And then we have to go back to work. So this is pretty much how we cope with everything. Can you do what can you what things can you can you start doing um i'd like to also i'm walking over here yes okay why tell us and i'm going to show you guys something because it's pretty cool right again just show us like you got a camera and just hey guys check this out you know having already walked there this woman here is uh Blowing bubbles. There's a bunch of bubbles there. You mean the woman with the child? That's a child. Remember? I don't know if you can see, but she was blowing bubbles with her kids, so. Right. Bubbles of love. Bubbles of love indeed. <clears throat> and, um,. Hoping that all of you have a good day and uh, yeah, please reach out and let me know. Yeah, no. Let's start this conversation. How can we take care of ourselves through, ourselves through this? Uh... Well, if you were taking care of yourselves, you wouldn't be asking others for how to do it. You would be doing it, uh, quite frankly. You would be so busy in the process of doing it, you wouldn't need to ask her or anyone else on how to do it because that's what taking care of yourself means i mean asking for how to do it is one thing but I'll talk to me in my chat comment box guys don't forget about me talk to me how do we what do i need to do i've survived and i've paid my child support and i've done all these things and i was alienated even though we won't get into that subject what do we need to do make sure to like comment and subscribe sees right anyways boys i'm gone with john you know the deal hit the like comment and subscribe sees uh, for me, don't forget about me, boys. I'm gone with John. Don't forget about me.